Hello everyone, welcome back to FightH channel. Friends, before starting to watch this video, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. I really want to get 20,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. It's so close, thanks for supporting me, guys. The attempts of the British ex heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua to learn something new under the guardians of American coach Derek James have not yet brought the desired result. This may be painful for him in the upcoming duel against American Deontay Wilder. Such considerations were shared by the former champion in two categories, boxing expert and analyst Paul Malignaggi. I don't think it's possible to box against Wilder the way Joshua boxed Helenius for 6-7 rounds, Malignaggi said. Wilder will find a convenient distance, pick up the trajectory. I am the sign to take you out. You have to scare him violently, and I have a big doubt that Wilder will be scared by these careful touches and attempt to get closer, while Wilder will continue to deliver jobs and those forehand blows. Yes, Wilder has bad footwork and his combinations are no better either, Paul Malignaggi states. Yes, he only has his 2-1-2, but it's a damn dangerous 1-2 blows, and he knows how to use it. Joshua, on the other hand, was never a guy who used head movements. He is trying now, but he thinks about it too much and doesn't do enough at the same time. Joshua is literally slowing everything down. And I think this indecision will play a cruel joke on him against Wilder. British promoter Reggie Hearn released that the fight between two popular British boxers Chris Eubing Jr. and Conor Benn could become one of the biggest events in boxing if it takes place at the end of this year. This fight was planned to be held last fall, and it really aroused great interest in the United Kingdom, including by the fact that it was supposed to continue the confrontation in the ring started by their fathers, Chris Eubing and Nigel Benn, but the fight was cancelled after Benn's positive doping test, and then Eubing unexpectedly lost by a knockout to Liam Smith in January of this year. But now Benn seems to have had the opportunity to continue his boxing career, and Eubing confidently took revenge on Smith on September 2nd. This makes the fight one of the biggest in boxing and definitely in British boxing, Hearn said in an interview. Some compare it to the Fury Joshua fight. I don't think it's the same scale, but it's only slightly inferior. We will have a meeting in London to discuss this, Hearn added, referring to Eubanks promoter Kelly Sauerland. I think both guys have other options, but the fact is that this is the biggest fight for both of them. It will be a big event in the United Kingdom. Welterweight champion Conor Ben, according to Hearn, may return to the ring at the end of September in the United States, as his team would like to arrange a warm-up match for him after a long break and before a big middleweight fight against Eubank. Former World Heavyweight Champion Anthony Joshua may hold a third fight this year in December. If the fight against another ex-champion Deontay Wilder is postponed to a later date, promoter Eddie Hearn said. According to him, they are continuing negotiations with the Saudi company Skill Challenge Promotions, which is ready to finance the fight with Wilder in Saudi Arabia, and so far we are talking about January next year. Negotiations are continuing, and we are still talking about a fight in January. If we don't complete the negotiations, or they postpone the fight to February or March, we may hold a fight in December, Hearn said in an interview. Wilder talked about holding the fight in October, but it's already September. He is looking forward to a fight with Wilder in January. He is training and wants to box in December. If they change their mind and say, let's do a fight with Wilder in December, he will go for it. But everyone says that the fight will take place. For now, we keep the possibility of a fight in December open. Ideally, we would have gone strength to the fight with Wilder. The functionary said, It looks like the Gypsy King wants to defeat the ex-UFC champion without preparation. On October 28, a unique boxing match will be held in Saudi Arabia. WBC heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury will enter the ring against a debutant in professional boxing. However, this debutant is former UFC heavyweight champion and one of the most dangerous fighters in the world, Francis Ngannou. As soon as this fight was officially announced, Fury was criticized both in the media and in the boxing community. Fury chose a very easy option in the form of Ngannou, 
who has never fought according to the rules of boxing. Will I watch this fight? Probably not. I think it will turn out boring. I took a step to the side, and the heavyweight division in boxing immediately dropped to a lower level. I would even say that the heavyweight is dead, ex-world heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder said. Francis, on the contrary, was supported by many and expressed respect for him. The Cameroonian left the UFC with a scandal, having failed to agree with Dana White on the terms of a new contract. The ex-champion of the promotion has repeatedly stated that he received very little in the organization, and that he dreams of holding a money fight in boxing. A dream come true. For a fight with a Briton, he will receive as much as he has not received in his entire career. In the UFC. Of course, Fury looks like a clear favorite in this fight. Buckmakers do not leave Nagano any chances, and many experts from the field of professional boxing do not see how Francis can win. John Fury, the father of the WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, challenged former absolute heavyweight world champion Mike Tyson to a duel. I like Mike Tyson, I named my son after him. If he wants to fight me on the other card, no problem. I am already old, but I am belligerent. He is also old, but also a warrior. We are two old men. If we can entertain the audience and bring smiles to people's faces, let's do it, John Fury said. Tyson last entered the ring against Roy Jones as part of an exhibition fight. This fight lasted the entire distance and ended in a draw by unanimous decision of the judges. He has 50 wins, 44 by knockout and 6 defeats in the ring. John Fury was engaged in professional boxing from April 1987 to June 1995. In a total, he had 13 fights, of which he won 8, lost 4, and one of his confrontations ended in a draw. British boxer Tony Bellew spoke about the negotiations of Anthony Joshua's team about the next fight. In the last match, Joshua was supposed to face Dylan White, but he dropped out of the fight due to a positive doping test. White was replaced by Robert Hilenius, while Joshua knocked out in the seventh round. I heard rumors that Joshua and Wilder stopped negotiations. Right now, Joshua's team is leaning towards a fight against Tyson Fury. There is an option to bring a big fight to Africa. That would be great, a new rumble in the jungle. Deontay has the power, but Joshua can't deny the force of the blow answer. Hellenius could not force Joshua to turn on a fool, but when Anthony fights 100%, he is very dangerous. I would not say that he acted cowardly against Hellenius, rather just cautiously. In my opinion, Anthony is going through such a phase now. He thinks too much and prefers not to take risks, Melius said. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.